What's going on everybody? My name is Zach Hartley and in this video I'm going to share with you one of my current positions then we're going to dive into the market conditions and then I'm going to share with you a couple of stocks that are on my watch list going into the week ahead so let's jump right in. Okay so first of all I posted this in my discord chat on October 25th that I had bought options in Mara. This is Marathon Digital. They're a Bitcoin miner and they're one of the largest in the world. They also have one of the largest holdings of Bitcoin out of any publicly traded company and so I like them for exposure to Bitcoin through the stock market. This is what the options chart has looked like. I got in on the 25th of October and since then it has gone up by about 30%. This is what the stock chart looks like. As you can see, we've gone from about eight to $11 here in the last little while as well. So some good returns in marathon options, some good returns in the stock as well. Here's what the Bitcoin price looks like. As you can see, we've got some major resistance hovering right here around 28,000 but we are in a bullish trend. We are above our two moving averages. And if you look at the volume here, the volume is definitely starting to pick up. So this is very, very exciting. I am watching for the breakout of $38,000 this week. But if you are new to crypto and you are just getting started, you can sign up for Newton and you'll get $25 completely free when you sign up and you trade $100 or more. So it's like a 25% instant return on your investment. If you live in Canada, Newton is where I invest and trade all of my crypto. You can get an instant 25% return on a $100 deposit. Definitely check it out, the link is down below. But let's dive into the market conditions now. Let's talk about the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is very exciting because as you can see, we have actually had four positive weeks now, which is very exciting after the tumultuous second half or basically third quarter that we've had. We're up for four weeks in a row on the NASDAQ, up for four weeks in a row on the S&P, approaching some previous resistance here. Same thing with the Dow Jones, approaching some previous resistance, but we have broken out of the short-term bearish trend that we've been in since July, which is very nice to see. The volatility index or the VIX is also also dropping lower which basically means the market is settling there's not a ton of volatility and there's less worry about a market crash now compared to at least four weeks ago that's basically what the VIX is telling us when we look at the price of oil we are definitely in a bearish trend we've now crossed below our two moving averages here and we continue to set lower and lower lows not a good sign. We do have a crossover of the MACD here, which is a little bit positive. So it'll be interesting to see how this sort of unfolds over the next little while, but it is still way too early to buy in on oil and gas stocks right now if you are trading or trend trading based on the price of oil. When it comes to earnings this week, we have a couple of very exciting companies. We've got CrowdStrike and Workday and Intuit all reporting on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we've got Foot Locker, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute. We've also got a lot of Canadian banks. We've got TD, we've got RBC down here, we've got BMO on Friday, and we had one other company reporting this week. I know it's in here somewhere, but lots of Canadian banks reporting this week, a couple next week. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how those results compare to the US banks. In general though, when it comes to market conditions, inflation is starting to come under control. We saw very positive numbers from both the US and Canada for last month's inflations. So that is very nice to see, but we still have high interest rates relative to where they were at two or three years ago. We are starting to see signs of a possible rate top, basically meaning that we aren't gonna see any rate increases moving forward. But the next announcement for Canada is gonna come out on December 6th. And the next announcement for the United States is gonna come out on December 13th. So those are the important dates that you wanna watch depending on where you live. When it comes to the market in general, artificial intelligence is still the hot trend. It has been the hot trend pretty much the entire year. 2023 was the year of artificial intelligence. I don't think there's anything that is gonna change that, but it has been a nice run in the markets over the last four weeks. You could say that we are, um, we are due for a healthy pullback, maybe a couple of days of red, but over the last four weeks here, things have looked pretty good. Now, let's talk about Foot Locker. Foot Locker is a company I have ragged on in the past. Foot Locker is a company that I think has an absolutely massive uphill battle as they sell Adidas and Nike products, which are now opening up their own Nike and Adidas stores. On top of that, there is more competition than ever in this space. And so my personal feeling, Foot Locker is out of date. Foot Locker has way more competition than they can handle. Sales have already started to decline on Foot Locker. And I think we are in the first year of a long, slow death of Foot Locker. And so I think the stock price is gonna go down. They report their earnings on, um, on Wednesday 
And I'm looking for a rejection here right around $24, $25 if we start coming back down. And uh, or if I want to take a position before earnings, I'm definitely going short. I don't think this company is about to explode in value anytime soon. And uh, I think they have a huge uphill battle because right now their free cash flow payout is 105% and their payout ratio for their dividends is 103%. You can see all of that data right here. Payout ratio 103, free cash flow payout ratio 105. So things do not look good for them. And the last time that their dividend yield got this high was during the Great Recession. And I don't know if you've noticed, but, but things are not that bad right now. And so the fact that Foot Locker is slowly dying right now, I think this is just, and maybe it's not the start. Maybe it's been happening for a while, you could argue based on the stock price, but I think this company is dying and I think it's gonna take a miracle to revive them back. So I'm going short on the stock. I use all my analysis from Stock Unlock. If you're interested in the software, the link is also in the description. Now, next one here is Coursera. And the next one after that is going to be Udemy. You probably guessed it because I've talked about them a lot. And I talked about them a lot on the way down saying that these are good companies that are getting undervalued. And it turns out that based on the last few months, I was right because Coursera has now doubled in value from $10 to $20, 1961, you can say, but it's up almost 100%. I was able to make a nice 34% profit on a swing trade on the way up, but it continues to break out. I think it has a lot more room to run, and so I'm considering getting back into the stock for another go at it. I think this is a great company. Their revenue looks amazing, and I think they're gonna do extremely well over the long term. Same thing with Udemy. They are a competitor to Coursera. They go after a slightly different market, but I think online learning and the market that these two companies are in is going to absolutely explode. I also can see that Udemy is breaking through a very key level of resistance after their earnings, and I've made lots of videos on these two companies. I've done a lot of comparison and analysis, so check out my channel if you wanna see that, but these are two companies that I'm super optimistic about long-term, if you've watched my channel, you're probably all already aware of that though. And the last company here is Snowflake. As you can see, Snowflake has a major, major level of support right here. The stock has bounced off this trend line several times. It's currently bouncing off of it and it's approaching previous resistance from the summer and the, and the fall here. And now if we see a breakout of this sort of 170, 175 area, I think it's gonna run up to 200, and I think it's got room to run even higher. If you look at the income statement for Snowflake, it goes in one direction only, and it's up and to the right. It's absolutely beautiful. I think the company's gonna do very well over the long term. So in summary, I am short on Foot Locker, I am long on Coursera, I'm long on Udemy, I'm long on Snowflake, and I've already got a position in Marathon that's up by 30%. So I'm doing well. If you wanna see any more information like this, definitely check out Blossom Social. It is the social network where I am posting all of my trades and investments for my income focused portfolio. So I post everything in my Discord chat for short term. This is where I post long term and the link is in the description if you wanna check it out. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.